Today we're going to be showing you the best custom keyboards for iOS 8. Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric from AppFind here, and today I'm going to be showing you my list of my top 8 favorite custom keyboards for iOS 8. We've gone through all of these really cool keyboards, and we've come up with 8 of the best keyboards that you can use. They range from adding color to the keyboards, adding a swipe feature, uh, even making the keyboard smaller so you can see a bigger portion of the screen. So we went ahead and downloaded these, and they are amazing. Now let me know in the comment section below what your favorite keyboards are if new ones come out. Obviously we may come out with future videos with updated app lists. But these are some of the really cool ones that are available right now uh, in the App Store. Now quickly first I will show you how to install any of these keyboards so you guys know. You're going to go into the settings, you're going to go into general, then you're going to scroll down to keyboard, and then you're going to go to keyboards, add new keyboard, and then whatever keyboard you installed uh, will be right here as you can see the third party keyboard. So that's how to install it. You're going to click on it, choose any options uh, that you need, but that's how to install it in case you guys were wondering, because right now we're going to get right into all of these really cool keyboards. Let's get started. All right, so the first keyboard app that we have is Color Keyboard. Now I wanted to start with a simpler application uh, just to get started here and basically Color Keyboard is the standard Apple keyboard you know and love but with different colors built in as you can see gray, black, white, red, green, uh, blue, pink, uh, dark red, crazy, you know they've got a lot of different colors here. They have 20 colors to choose from all for a buck. Uh, so you can choose which color you want, say I want dark blue. So you tap on it, you hit install keyboard, it's going to give you some instructions. Uh, so now let's take a look at the keyboard in action. So as you can see, the dark blue color keyboard effect uh, creates a really cool sleek looking dark blue keyboard right here. As you can see, uh, it looks very similar to the standard Apple keyboard, except it's in a nice sleek blue style. Um, and as you know, you can just type uh, whatever you want on here. So, you know, just type. Um, and then basically it's going to work like a standard keyboard. This doesn't have any swipe features. It's just to look cool. And as you know, this is going to be available in uh, messages and everything. So it's not just within the app, not just within notes. This is your new keyboard. And you can always switch back to other keyboards at any time, hitting the world keyboard icon. The next keyboard that we have is one that I was actually really looking forward to ever since they announced custom keyboards on iOS 8, and that is Swipe. Swipe's actually going to allow you to swipe around the screen to select different text, and they also have a lot of really cool settings as well. Uh, so if you go into the settings icon, which you can actually access right from the keyboard, you can actually choose dark to have your own different themes, any kind of theme that you want. So as you can see here, I'll show you how to swipe works right now. So what you want to do is just swipe over whatever you want to say. So S-W-Y-P-E should do swipe, just like that. So even though I may have messed up just a little bit or missed it just a little bit by a hair, it's going to predict what you actually wanted to type so you can just slide around the screen. Now I haven't gotten used to it because I just got it, but once you get used to it, you're able just to whip around the screen with your finger and be able to type really fast using swipe. And it's available for only 99 cents. The next keyboard that we have is Flexi. Now Flexi is available for 99 cents and it's absolutely amazing. There's a lot of really great features that go right into it. So as you can see here, I've got the Flexi keyboard installed down at the bottom. Now it acts as a normal keyboard, you know, you can type hello, you can type whatever you want, you can go back. But the really cool thing is the customization of how Flexi works. So as you can see, you can actually make the keyboard a large keyboard if um, maybe your eyes aren't the best and you want to have a keyboard that's a little bit larger so you can type better or your fingers are a little bit too big, um, then you can use the large feature. You can go to original, obviously, and then also small. So this is going to allow you to view a lot more of the screen. This was what I was talking about when I said, you know, the ability to have like a smaller uh, text area for typing in the keyboard. So as you can see, you can also change the color and this is going to change it through all the apps. I love uh, the really basically ability to see a different color across the, the middle. It really separates the whole keyboard. Now another really cool feature is you can actually have minimal, uh, which is going to make it a little bit 
um, bigger in terms of the letters. However, it's a minimal style, so you can't see the actual space bar. But the cool thing is you swipe up with two fingers, you can access the space bar. You can have that uh, happen when you're in the applications uh, or when you're in messages typing. Now, to take it even a step further, Flex, Flexi is actually going to allow you to have personalization. So you're gonna personalize from Facebook, Gmail, or Twitter. It's going to read how you write and then customize the suggestions to you. And that's something that not even Apple has in its um, automatic, uh, basically, assumptions of what you may want to say. Uh, so it's definitely a really cool keyboard. There's a lot of functionality. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is it isn't in-app purchase to get additional colors. But other than that, it's a great keyboard, and I recommend checking it out for 99 cents. Now, did you guys want a free keyboard application? Well, here's one you got right here. It is TouchPal, and it's absolutely free on the App Store right now. Uh, and basically, TouchPal is going to allow you to do two things. It has swipe functionality, and it also has color keyboard functionality built into one free application. So if you go into the theme, you can obviously select the different color keyboard that you want. Now, it doesn't have as many selections as um, the uh, color keyboard, so it doesn't have as many. However, there are a lot of great selections, as you can see. Now, another cool feature, by the way, is if you press and hold, it's going to turn into a number in some of these numbered texts up here, uh, which is pretty cool. And you can also swipe back and forth from English to different languages. Uh, but another cool feature is it also combines uh, the swipe, swipe, you know, uh, and basically all that functionality. I don't know if you can see it, but the little Thing following me. I'm not actually typing anything right now because I'm not in the notepad, but it has swipe and color keyboard functionality all available for free, and that is touchpad. We're going to take a quick break to thank our sponsors, but we'll be right back after the break with four more amazing custom keyboards for iOS 8. This video is brought to you by AppNana, the cool app that lets you get paid apps, iTunes gift cards, and more absolutely free. Go to AppNana.com slash AppFind in your mobile browser to get started. Now what you're going to do is just log in and create an account. From there, you'll receive 10,000 Nanas for using our unique URL. You can use points to get all of these cool apps, Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, PayPal cash, uh, and a lot more. There's a lot of great rewards all available on AppNana. Now the way to get more points is just to download regular apps that are absolutely free. Once you download the apps like Hotels.com, you'll be rewarded with free points. We just got 3,900 points just for downloading uh, Hotels.com. For even more points, use my referral code A4458590. Use that exact exact referral code to get you 2,500 more Nanas. You can use Nanas for all of these amazing apps, so what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Also click here to watch the full App Nana tutorial. This next keyboard is Swift Key, and it's actually another free keyboard. Now the really cool thing about this one is it is a black theme, but it also has the predictive text style feature. Uh, it's Swift Keys. It's not predictive text from uh, Apple itself, but as you can see, it'll predict what you may want to say based on what you've said in the past. It's a pretty cool black keyboard, uh, and that's built right in, so if you want to say, you know, like, hey, uh, you can just tap on hey right there. It's really quick and easy. And also, the other thing is it adds whatever you said before that, and you can add right here, hey guys. I like to say, hey guys, what's up, at the beginning of my videos, and now it knows that, uh, just because sometimes I type that in as well. Uh, so that's something that I might say, and that's something that I might add. Uh, so that's a really cool keyboard functionality. The next keyboard app we have is Quiboard. Now Quiboard is a little bit different than all the other ones because it allows you to quickly add responses that you may want to use multiple times, like generic responses. So for now I just have custom text, but you can change that to whatever you want in the Quiboard app. So as you can see, I'm down here in here, say I got like a, uh, an e a email or a iMessage or something like that. I can just hit custom text and send and that's done. And that's all you got to do. So basically say uh, I'm on vacation right now, click that, boom, send. And that's it. So that's going to type quick information for you. But here's the killer feature right here. Now I don't have this set up because I don't want to show my contact, personal information, all that stuff. But you can set up all of your contacts and personal information right here in a quick little text clip. So, uh, what's your name? Click there. It'll input your full name. If you're ever filling out any kind of form, uh, I know I fill out like email forms all the time, so you can have your email. Click it right there. Boom. Email's right in. That's it. That's easy, quick, and simple uh, way to add your contact information and a quick and easy way to add quick replies. Uh, that's Quiboard. It's available for $1.99.
The next keyboard app we have is Text Expander, which is the most expensive one at $4.99, but it still does a great job and actually adds additional features that you didn't see from the other keyboard apps. So what this one lets you do is add different snippets. Uh, and what these snippets are is bi basically different um, keywords that are going to trigger a response. It's like TYVM, thank you very much, and it'll actually write that right there. You can add different groups um, and add a bunch of different snippets that you want. So if you go into the uh, uh, actual, <laughs> sorry, notepad application, as you can see if I write TYVM, thank you very much, turns into Thank you very much, right then and there. It's also a pretty cool blue um, and white style keyboard. It looks pretty cool. I like the fact that some of the keys are blue, some of them aren't. Um, it looks like a great keyboard, but it also has all of that functionality built right in. The other thing, uh, just to mention quickly, is you can toggle between all of the keyboards using that button. I don't have the other ones installed right now, but you can install all of them and uh, use multiple keyboards. You're not limited to just one, just letting you guys know. And the final keyboard app we have is Minim, which is available for $199. It's a really cool application that's going to allow you to have the predictive text style keyboards, but also smaller keyboards as well. So you can go down and you can type these and basically it's going to learn via predictive text what you may type in that small category. Uh, it's definitely a really cool keyboard, it's $199, uh, and I love the fact that you can actually make it uh, smaller right there in the keyboard setting itself. So those are all of the really cool um, top eight iOS 8 custom keyboards. Now, if you have a favorite keyboard that wasn't on this list, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, of these, let me know which is your favorite. Uh, be sure to share this video with your friends so they can learn about all the keyboards as well. Think about downloading the App Nana application. It really helps out our show and also helps you get free paid apps and iTunes gift cards. Once again, I'm Alex from AppMind. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.